Hi everyone, it's Marie from Fizzy Soap, and you're probably wondering, what in the world is this? I'm not going to be making any soap today or cutting soap, but I want to talk to you about a couple of things that can make, um, that can help prevent errors, because sometimes when we use anything with weights and measures, if we look at a, a measurement, sometimes it can be misread, and there's ways that we can enhance the way we write values so that there's less likely a uh, chance that we will misread it. As you know, I'm, some of you know, I'm a pharmacist. I work in a hospital. So anything that we can do to make our patients safer and eliminate medication errors is a good thing. And that, what we do there, is applicable to everything else that we use, um, making recipes for soap, cooking in the kitchen, anything of that sort. And that includes leading zeros and trailing zeros. What is a leading zero? A leading zero is any any zero that precedes a decimal point, such as 0 0.5. That's a leading zero. A trailing zero is anything, as you may surmise, is anything that comes after a decimal point, so 5.0. Oop, here we go. 5.0. Ha! So that's a trailing zero. That's a leading zero, a trailing zero. Yeah, I just had to clean my board there. Okay, so leading zeros. If I'm writing 0 0.5, it's the same as if I just wrote 0 0.5. It means exactly the same. However, if your decimal is very faint, say you're getting a fax or something and it's faint, or if there's lines on your paper and the, and the dot ends up to being on the line, if you can't see the, the dot, then you're going to think that's 5. Whereas even here, if you can't see the dot, you've got the 0 in front of you, in front of you, <laughs> in, front of the, in front of it. So that's a big clue that, yeah, there's got to be a period somewhere because people don't usually write 0, 5 to mean number 5. So always use leading zeros. It's always a good idea. For trailing zeros, it's the reverse. We want to avoid them. So basically, 2.0 is the same thing as 2. It means the same, exactly the same. But again, if you don't see your dot, now you're going to see 20 instead of 2 that you're supposed to be using. So, if you have only a zero after a decimal place, don't use it. Just write the number by itself. Of course, it doesn't help you if you've got 2.05, then you, you do have to write the whole value. And if you don't see the dot, you could mistake that. But, in most cases, if you only have a, a zero after the, the decimal, don't put it there. Just do that. So, use leading zeros and avoid trailing zeros. And that will just make your recipes that much more clear and give you a little bit of a chance of, less chance of making an error. So happy soaping. I hope this helped. Bye.